Hi right, folks, back down here doing a little bit more on the trotter van. We just tied up a few odds and ends on the bodywork, so come on. Right, so I've been doing a little bit of filling and sanding, only the fine filling and sanding, just while it's up in the air like this. So as you can see here, what I've done is basically just give it a little bit of a rub down, got the shape back. There was a few little chips out here and stuff. So I've done that one. I've got one to do around the front now, let's show you. So as you can see here, this was that uh, corner that we re rebuilt up and also this bit there. And I've just overfilled it. So all I'm gonna do now is just sand this down, get the shape ready for some uh, primer to go on it. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay then, that's what we've been up to. As you can see, I've just rubbed this down with some 80 grit paper. As you know, underneath there, we've got the original fiberglass that uh, we built it up with. We've put some filler over the top just to fill in the sort of indentations in the fiberglass and to actually get the correct curve. And that's just normal body filler. As you can see, I've just sanded that down with 80 grit paper. And what we're left with now is the shape we're after but there's still pinholes in here. You will tend to get this, very fine pinholes. Let me show you. As you can probably see there, we've got a nice curve there now. It's all blended in nicely, but we've got the odd sort of hole here, a little divot there, and also around here still. We've still got the odd little bit of a pinhole like there, for example. I'm not really worried about that because what we're gonna do now is finally, before we actually prime this, although the primer could probably take that in, we just go over this with a little bit of stopper filler. It's a very fine filler, a lot finer than normal uh, filler and then it's just literally a gentle rub down as you can see all the edges are lovely and feathered in now we've got our shape which we was after there we've also got our shape which we was after there and as you can see everything's back solid again now it doesn't take too long to sand down as you can see here look there's just from that little bit of sand in there this is all filler which is coming off there that's why you really do need to have a dust mask on as well and uh, as i say i could do this with a machine but when you get down to finishing off stuff like this you know, you're probably best doing it by hand and it doesn't take long to come down as you've already seen. So we've just got to go around the bodywork now. I'm just doing the lower skirt here at the moment. Coming back round to the back there, as you know, we've done exactly the same here, as you can see. And uh, the curve which we had here, which was a problem, which was all smashed away, which is all back there now and nice. We've got the wheel arch up here, which I'm not finished yet, but I've just literally give it a rough sand down for the moment, but I can't really gain access to this. I'm going to wait now till we've got this up the right way. You know, remember this, Will, it was all sort of fractured and uh, damaged. Now we've got the fiberglass, as you can see on the inside now. That's now received its coat of paint. And the, the, the underside now is now coated in three coats of our gray. And as you can see, we've got it all the way around now, all through into that area there, which I didn't have done before. All in the front there, it's all been done now. So this week we're gonna be tipping this back up the right way so that we can finally go over the whole car with uh, a fine tooth comb, get all the little pinholes uh, filled up with stopper filler, and then the car, whole car's got to be sanded down with something like 320 or maybe even 400, I'm not too sure yet, and then it'll be ready to get it all primed. So we're very near the priming stage now. We've got the trolley made up, as you know, so we've been bringing you along, flipping this over for that, and then we can have a good walk around the car. All the major cracks that we've had on it, not that there was many, have now been done, and the last bit of filling now, I've just along here, as you know, and this was the opening which someone had actually put in there. And I'm just going to sand that flat now and then we're going to call it a day. So this is going to be the final bit today. So let's get on with that.
Oh, that's it. Right, that's the probably last bit I'm going to do while the car's on its side, as I say. So, as you say, it didn't really take too long to sand down. There's again a little bit of stopper filler in there and one final sand down, and that's now ready. But it's surprising how much filler you actually do get off with some 80 grit paper. You really shouldn't need to go any further with that. And don't forget, this isn't deep filler here. All we've got basically is a thin skimmer filler here. The main bulk of the actual repairs you probably know is fiberglass. This is just to smooth out any sort of bumps or little divots that you've got. So that's why we use a polyester filler. A lot of people, what they tend to do, let me show you the old bit that come out of this top bit up here. Let me show you. Right, as you know, our main part of filler, what we put in here is fiberglass. And as you know, if I take you around the back, it's basically the same shape now what we've got. And that's what the repair we've done. We've done a sheet of fiberglass under there and on the top, the actual fiberglass filler and a very thin skin body filler on the top just to get our curve back. Right, so as you can see, this was the bit that come out of there like that. And all that someone's done here is literally whack loads of body filler underneath, as you can see there, look. And it's a different material. They've put a bit of fiberglass on the surface by the looks of it, but the main bulk of the repair has been done with normal uh, car body filler. And that's not what we've actually done. We've not done that sort of repair. That sort of repair will not last. And as you see, after a while, it's, it has failed anyway. It's sort of separated in places. And this is how most of the repairs were done. If you can see there, that's actually pulling away from the fiberglass there. We haven't got none of that there. None of, none of the bulk is behind there. It's just literally fiberglass sheet and that's the proper way to do it. This will do the job, but if you're buying one of these fiberglass cars, do make sure that you haven't got that sort of thing behind it. Anyway, that's all I'm really gonna do today. I've done a little bit of sanding, as you can see. I'm a little bit restricted as to what I can do. I can't really get to the side up here now. All the underneath's now done. The only thing I've got to do is to make the plate up for the back door hinge, which I've got at home. I'm gonna really make that up off camera. You don't need to see that. And I'll probably install that when it's upside down. I wanted to do it this way while it was on its side, but it doesn't matter anyway. It's gonna go in a treat. Right, it's the next day now. We've got the trolley down here, the trolley dolly. Someone made a comment that, um, what do they call it? They called it a pig jig. Right, okay, so it's a bit overcast though, and on an overcast day, you've got to dress the cordial, ain't you? Look who's turned up to give us a hand. Hello. Come here. Come in. Come here. Hello. Look. Oh, Today hello, is hello. SAS man. SAS? Hey? Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to get this dolly off now, and as I say, someone's referred to it as the pig jig. The plastic pig, if you know they people call that. Right, let's get it off. Go on, off you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. things to move about, so hold on for a second. Here's our Flintstone car. It's the Flintstone, it's the Flintstone, it's the Yabba Dabba Doo Right, clear some of this rubbish out of the way. Hey, it'll be alright. It's going to be sticking over. It won't stick over, I've measured it. I've measured it. Jim, here we give us a hand. What's all this on here for, look? There's no weight inside, is there? Paper bag, okay. Just paper in it. Where are you going to fill it? Right, two, one on each corner. Right, eh? Where are you going to fill it? What are you talking about? <laughs> so the low part, this on the low deck. So basically, yeah, it should go right over where it is there now, shouldn't it? Oh. Right, you ready? Yes. Yeah. Now we have to roll it over first. Now try not to put any. Look at that. Is it down there, Gary? Right, we'll have to lift. Right, right, you have to lift now, Lee. Yeah. I am, I am, I am. Don't hit that. What's that? It should, hopefully. Good. Woo, look at that. Wait there, come around there. Stay where you are, come around. Oh, that's lovely. Does it move? Oh, now, yeah. Move all that crap out of the way, Lee. Yeah, you right. do something, Lee. Yeah, all right. How's the hype? Is it laying on the front there as well? Yeah, it looks good. Oh, I've done it so it's higher up, so that when we're spraying low down, you've got a bit more room. That was the idea behind it. 
Whack it all in there. Do you want to put it back in there? Yeah. Oh, right. I was joking. No, I'm not joking, Lee. Oh, the quirky Ted Lee. <laughs> there you go. Okay, Lee. Right. Now what I want to do, uh, if we, um, I want it turned round. Oh, yeah. I want it turned round. So if we push that fear out, just roll that forward. Won't it turn around in this little bit? I don't think it will, will it? Well, let's go try it. It moves nice. Oh, lovely, isn't it? Look at that, look how it rolls. Yeah. Come on, that chair. I don't think it will turn in that little space, Gary. No, I don't need wheels. Because diagonally, something's always bigger when it's on a diagonal, isn't it? Yeah, why do you make the amphibia car out of it? Yeah. Look at the way that moves. Isn't it easier, isn't it? I've done it. I'm moving it with my little finger. I'll tell you what, I could put that on eBay and sell it. <laughs> and it makes life a lot easier, look. Look at that! Let me show you underneath. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, can you? It's a little bit dark in here, I know, but... That, that's lovely, that fits absolutely perfectly. Look at the, look how I've measured that, look, let me show you. No, you, you can't really see, but obviously underneath, underneath looks a treat. Is there enough room to spin it? Which way do you want to go, that way? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Were you about to spin it around in that gap there? It's not the edge of that. It's quite, isn't it? Can it go past there? He's on the wheel, on, on the lead, on the grid. No, but it's going to be outside then, it won't be enough Well, it don't matter, does it? It don't matter if it goes outside a little bit. Well, where's it going then? We, where Back in here, the other way round. Oh, I see. Ah. That's cleared it, go on. Keep going. I've done the damage yet. Keep going. Oh, superb. <coughs> That's it, wheel it right back in now, at your leisure. And it's simple. Look, I'm not even touching it. How's about that then? Right, how about that then? Are you happy with that? Yeah, very good. Yeah, very good. good. What? Anyway, <laughs> that's it now. That's nice and mobile now. That's ready now for its final rub down. And final bits of filler with the old um, stopper filler. We'll be undercoated then, and then we're ready for some colour. Right, we're going to leave it here now anyway. So we'll see you again in the next video. And until then, Bye for now. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>